All right, so this video is gonna be my how-to guide on becoming a histotech. Um, let's just start off by saying that if you are truly looking into getting into the field of histology, make sure that this is something that you want to do. Um, a lot of people do histology for a lot of different reasons, whether it is the money, whether it's their passion, um, or is something that they just fell into like myself so there's different many you know avenues different paths your path will be different from another histotech so my first suggestion would be to decide if becoming a histotech is good for you so the first thing i thought of if you are wanting to become a histologist what would be the first thing that you would want to consider the first thing is that you want to consider is making sure that histology is the right path for you, right? So that means visiting a histology school, maybe working in a histology pathology lab, um, checking out schools online, that's normally the cheaper option. And I'll be going through all three of those things throughout this video. So if you got something to write with, take some notes because we about to get into some things okay so let's see here the first thing is visit a histology school i went to a histology school i did discover histology on accident um i was in community college and i decided to transfer my credits to uh, a private school or try to transfer it to a university because i really didn't know what i wanted to do so once I went to my histology school, which is Kaiser University in Orlando, Florida, I remember walking in and the advisor counselor told me, hey, we have a new program, which is histology. And I've never heard of histology before. I'm like, what is that? She's like, you know, you're working behind the scenes. You'll be working in a laboratory. And this is something fresh. This is something a lot of people may not know about. And it gives you an opportunity to still be in healthcare, but work behind the scenes. So I'm thinking like, hmm, I didn't, I knew I didn't want to be a nurse. I knew I didn't want to be in school for a long time. I wanted to do something that was quick and hands-on. So I took a tour around the school and I saw where the students were actually like working in a lab, like, and just doing things with your biopsies, taking tissue samples, and I was thinking, and I was thinking like, this could probably be a great career for me. I don't have to go to school for a long time. I already had my um my prereqs. I'm gonna get associate's degree and I can get right to work. So that's how I personally got started in histology. So I did attend an accredited school for the training program. So now that histology is more well known and a lot of people are now discovering histology you do not even have to go to class you can literally take all your courses online and then at the end of your program you just find a accredited lab that's approved by NACLS and if they're approved by NACLS then you can actually do all your biopsies and do your externship there at that lab and then you'll be able to sit for the for the board exam now, whenever I was in histology school, I didn't know by, about both routes. I didn't know that I could take the histology courses online. Now, for all the histotechnicians who are currently working in a lab, just say, or not histotechnicians, but for all like lab aides or um, who aspire to become a histotech, you know, later, you actually have a perfect setup because all you need to do is just work at the lab for at least more than a year and then you can go online to school and then you can actually use the current lab that you are working in as your externship and that will be the next point um, that I have here in actually becoming a histotech. All right so my second guide to becoming a histotech is um, if you're currently in a lab as a histologist um, then we welcome all new histotechs. We love the fact that we see someone who was a lab aide, a lab courier, um, someone who was a student, um, a grocer. Whenever they, whenever they seem to have interest in becoming a histotech, 
that is the easiest way for you guys to move up um what i would definitely tell you guys is to volunteer to sit with the histotech because you are in the lab every day with us so if you are a lab aide and your goal is to become a histotechnician you literally have access right there at your fingertips you already got the lab experience if you already have the sciences you can go ahead and just take the required courses that you need and you can use the lab that you're currently in as your externship and that way that will give you the credit because you have all the practice tissue um, you'll be able to learn tissue identification micronomy embedding special stains because you see it and live it every day and guess what you can still do your laboratory duties while still learning on the job as becoming a histotechnician um, these positions if you're currently already in the medical field histotechnicians are definitely promoted from within I mean you can be a lab aide and if you tell your your supervisor or other histotechs hey you know I'm interested in seeing what you guys do I want to learn more or I want to sit with the histotech um, or maybe I want to start helping to cut controls um, or cut some practice blocks whenever you know I'm off or cut some practice blocks whenever we have downtime that is a way for you to get practice that is a way for you to get some um, some training on the job training which is free which is the advantage that you definitely have over someone who had to go to a full accredited school that saves you tuition like I always always suggest if you are currently working in the lab and you see some interest that sparks you like hey I may want to do what you do you have the golden ticket right there generation of histotechs coming in like that's what we are to um i think they're called the baby boomers like there's a lot of people who are about to retire um who basically these slots are being filled up like they want to pass down um this generation of new histotechs i mean it is like a great thing because as long as you are a histotech you do have job security so i think that's a wonderful thing because when it comes to the medical field, the medical field is something that you will always have job security. I mean, look at what's going on now. Like they need every medical professional um, to make sure, you know, that we have the proper training um, for big, big issues like like the coronavirus. But at the same time, just everyday issues like a patient's biopsy or surgery or, you know, just just specimen care. So this is a great opportunity for you to be able to grow and learn and maybe see if this you know if this histology is for you um let me see uh my last my last uh tip on becoming a histotech will be experience um i get the question a lot you know do you need to have experience as far as like traveling um, I think most travel companies would like for you to have at least a few years of experience, nothing long, maybe like a year. So as far as experience goes, um, having experience as a traveler is something different than having an experience as a histotech. When it comes to becoming a histotech, we've all been there before when you, know, you very first graduate school and you've taken your board certification. You're thinking like, oh my God, like who's going to hire me for my first job? Now, whenever I was going through interviews for my first job, I was so nervous, y'all. Like I was thinking like who would hire someone with no experience? And I didn't know what I was going to do. The sacrifices that you may have to make as a histologist or any professional that you have to make, um, as any sacrifices that you may have to make as a professional we've all been there for my first histology job i did drive two hours away um from my home because that's how important it was for me to get a job in my field so i was willing to do and work whatever i needed to do and work even uh i remember true story i was going to take a job at a kidney dialysis lab and it wasn't even histology and they was like Shanika but you know this isn't histology and I was just like 
you know what i know it's not histology but i would rather be in a laboratory setting somehow just so i can get some lab experience um so you will need to do what you have to do but if you are in that environment already you are so lucky you have no idea so when it comes to experience as far as becoming a first-time histologist um people will take a chance on you laboratories will take a chance on you because labs know that you don't have any experience and you learn things day by day on the job it is literally on the job training that's how i look at it whenever I, you know i became a histologist because things that i learned in the first few months um on my first histology job it was totally different than the things that I learned to do at my second histology job. And it's totally different now as a traveler because I'm still learning new things, new techniques, and I'm working with different histologists. So they teach you and they show you and you learn and you become to adapt and you become, and you start to, um, you, you sort of start to like, just literally adapt your own techniques. So experience, do not let experience hinder you um just be concerned about the basics when it comes to histology how to embed properly how to cut your sections great having great quality because speed will come later but quality always come first um just making sure you're paying attention as far as like troubleshooting paying attention to how you are making sure like all your tissue is flushed properly making sure that um you you practice patient care you practice um troubleshooting the big big emphasis especially when these labs and it's time to get hired for a job is how can you avoid error like checking your slides checking your blocks making sure patient identification and tissue and everything matches um i will do another video as far as like how to get your first histology job so that's definitely um, in my list of videos to record for you guys. But to end everything, I just want to say focus on your quality. Focus on being the best histologist that you can possibly be. Because with time, speed will come. Um, your goal is to make sure that your work ethic is there. You're paying attention. Just the simple things will help you become a great histologist. And now I'm going to answer two of um, your guys' questions that I got from my Q&A. So let's go ahead and get right into that. All right, so my first question tonight is actually going to come from Deontay. He actually hit me up in my DM on Instagram, which is underscore lipstick underscore bandit for you guys. So he asked me, he says, or he said to me, he says, I'm currently in my histotech program in Mississippi and he's receiving his bachelor's degree and he ran across my page and found my videos very helpful so he subscribed he says um keep up the great work i would like to know he would like to know my journey and he wants to know um how long did it take for me to get my first job after school and can i go straight into traveling after school or do um he need experience first um First of all, Deontay, uh, for, I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, being part of the gang. And yeah, I mean, as far as us, go ahead and answer your first question. And um, I would like to know, my he would like to know my journey. How long did it take me to get my first job? After I passed my test, I did pass my test September the 11th. And I got my first job in December. So it did not take me a long time, like I told you guys just a couple seconds ago, but it did not take me a long time to get my job, but it was a lot of sacrifices that it did take for me because I come out of a state to where they produce histotechnicians all the time. So the, how can I put it? The, the job market is very, very tight because these schools are pushing out histologists left and right. So it's very oversaturated. So it did take me a few months to get a job, but like I said before, I was willing to take a job um, in a kidney like dialysis center, but the same time I got offered that job is the same time I got offered my first job, which was, um, is, which was in Lakeland, Florida. So I drove two hours from Daytona Beach to Lakeland 
um, for my first job and it was the best decision that I ever made. I even moved to Lakeland for a little bit with a friend who is a cytologist and I have to say like I didn't like living in Lakeland because it was just something very very different but I did what I needed to do to secure that first job and I'm so thankful that I did that because I am where I am today because of that sacrifice that I decided to make. So um, can he go straight to traveling after school? Well, I personally don't know if you can go straight into traveling. I would definitely say if you are thinking about traveling, um, probably get some experience as far as like an actual lab first. Even though these labs will teach you their protocol and will teach you everything that you know as far as like cutting and bedding. And when I mean teach, teaching is a little bit different. I mean like you'll know the basics of course, but every lab is gonna teach you and make sure that you're comfortable with doing things that way because every laboratory is different. But I would definitely say just for your own, um, just for your own stability, I would definitely tell you to just get a job first, work there for at least, at least a year, the, the minimum, and then look into traveling because these recruiters and these travel companies they would like for you to have at least some experience, but as soon as you at least get a year underneath your belt, like sky's the limit. So you could definitely, you know, start traveling soon. So um, good luck with everything, um, uh, Deontay, good luck with everything. I really appreciate you um, writing to me and I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any other questions, if any of my squad have any other questions, feel free to comment down below, DM me on Instagram, leave your comments in this video, be a part of the gang, join the squad, turn on your post notifications, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.